She was trying to run the film that I have, Hit Film, but unfortunately, for some reason, Hit Film doesn't want to work on her Ouch. computer. Ouch! Fuck, that had to hurt. I really misaligned that. Oh. Not. Now you gotta go swim and get your health back. Actually, I should take care of that. Um, it didn't help either that unfortunately Galaxy. Because here's the thing, hit film is free. You j you're only they only ask you to pay unless you want to donate and get like perks, like editing perks. And she decided to pay forty five bucks that... for it. I gotta pay attention because to she wants. Good. Because she wants a lot of the uh, perks in editing. How so? Well, what do you? Oh, well, again, basically, what Hip Film does is that um, um, it goes by a donation, um, like a donation, like um, kind of don't know how to say it, but it basically works. Donate the more like editing techniques. That, I guess like more they give you for the program. Emery. Hello. Hi. Like you get the basic stuff. If the basic stuff, and or even or even like donating twenty bucks. Okay, Discord, can you please stop dicking around? It's Discord. It's Discord. What do you expect? But anyway, point being, yeah, she spent all night trying to make hit film work, and it didn't. Uh. Well then, uh, Galaxy, mm -hmm. if you have to, uh, you're gonna have to call it an early night. Yes, honey? Um, no, I'm good. Sorry. Dear, you've been awake since 4 a.m. I don't even think you even took a nap. She she did she did sleep until earlier. I mean, fair, but I'm pretty much sure that would fuck up someone's sleep schedule. Okay. Uh, let's see. Just... Uh... Yeah. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh. You, 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 you gotta remember that thing. That thing is a piece of shit. He's an asshole. Can't you just break it? Hey, bro. I wish hey. I could break that thing. Yo. Oh, Yo. hi, Peter. Hi. Hello. How are you guys? Good. My cat woke me up at 3 a.m. and I've been awake ever since. Oh. That's a mood. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Okay, how about... Ah! What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Bounce, bounce. Mario, oh. I told you to jump three times in a row, not jump, and then Mario. just jump, and then go double jump. <laughs> One, two... You were supposed to jump higher, what the fuck? Lack of two, stop... Stop slanting, stop curving. Oh my god, I'll, I'll fucking deal with that shit later. You could try the box. Ooh. Oh, you mean <laughs> this guy? I mean, probably? Ah, oh, damn no, it. I, no, I meant the box. That box right there. I mean, technically, the little yeah, spring thing could work, too. Are you talking about this? Yeah. I can only push it forward. I can't pull it back. Oh, yeah, it's not Ocarina of Time. So, uh, sorry. Damn it. Oh, yeah, you're son probably of a bitch! Why are you always walking into that? I mean, I the thing is kind of... Yeah, the thing is very much blended in the background. <laughs> Ah, wonderful. Oh, yeah, Are we I think streaming, by the way? Yes. Yeah, he's streaming. Excellent. Hello, audience. Avoid the fire. Easier said than done. Okay, so what did this say? Uh, shocking uh, arrow lifts. Uh, what's <coughs> like that? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Just... Oh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, okay. stupid water spider things. Who, who, who opened it? That was me. Alright. <laughs> nice. uh, I kind of have my own, but I'm drinking coffee at the moment. I mean... I, uh, the, I mean, there are times I've swung a late-night coffee thing. I think my hard limit just passed, and that's... um, If it is past... I think I think it's like um, if I finish it before 9pm, I think I'll be fine, but it's kind of stretching. It's usually 8 is the last time I like to have coffee before bed. Mm, okay. God damn it! Well, I just 
I, I'm so like desensitized to caffeine that like a cup of coffee may as well just be a like pseudo casual drink to me now. Okay. Uh, Same with me and Coke, honestly. Well, Coke never gave Coke never at any point really was a drink that gave me energy. If anything, it made me feel a bit lazy, despite its caffeine content. Uh, it's it's the it's probably the overabundance of sugar, which makes oddly enough is. I only get like a boost for like an hour, and then it like crashes, and I feel kind of like shit after. So, I uh, gotcha. Like um, if you want something that makes me feel energized, though, uh, ow, fucker. A, ni a nice one to drink is called Celsius. Nope. Ugh. I would have laughed if you got hit by that. I guess close enough. Mm, yeah. Very much yum. Uh, sorry if I sound a little bit off. I'm in one of those, uh, like, one of those moods that I'm just, like, vulnerable to irritation. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Long uh, day, I can assume. Yeah. Sorry. <coughs> no worries. Top of the town. Alright. Do I have to go all the way up there, or? I think so. Yeah. Sometimes, also, like, these objectives, like whatever their names are, they could be really cryptic. I mean, it oh. could be worse. It could be Simon's Quest. Ugh, yeah. You know what? Fuck you! I hate those guys. Fuck you! Fuck you very, very much! I love the song. <laughs> God damn it. Turn around. <clears throat> oh the camera. My God. Get up there! I'd like around. to be trolling you. Oh no, this was back in the 90s when your camera was ha was half the time your worst enemy. Yeah. Black oh my god. Okay, for a second there. Oh damn it, I missed it. Oh. No, it's it's kind of why um when they flip the controls for really old games, people then accidentally find them too easy. <laughs> um, like how um what is it? It was one of the... I think it was Silent Hill or like an early Resident Evil or maybe it was both. But they gave them the modern controls instead of the previous ones. And the game was like... No, wait, wait, wait. It was Silent Hill. And like at, because of that, oh, no, the game no, no, lost no, 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 a horror no. element because the tank parts were integral to it. If you're able to play it normal with a lot of old games with modern controls, they become significantly easier. Makes sense. Standable. Because there were innovations in movement, like how in first-person shooters... There's that one infamous review of, uh, what was it, I think it was Alien vs. No, Alien Resurrection on the PS1, where a guy complains about the con control scheme, and it was basically a precursor to modern-day first-person shooters. Yeah, like, Golden, like, GoldenEye is amazing for its historical impact, but there isn't anyone who would unironically say that it is a good FPS by any modern standard. No, oh, it yeah. isn't. It would have been fine if they had a control scheme where uh, it would match similar to what Halo did. I think Halo had a right direction when it came to... Halo, Halo was the grand innovator of it. They put so much research into figuring out how to make that work. Uh, the, and it shows. As, as I was saying... Yeah. Um, if there was at least a control scheme where you use the C buttons to move forward, backward, and strife left to right, instead of just like, no, uh, it's. Uh, I was gonna uh, say you got the wrong game, but. No, just, just match up with whatever the hell a Halo was. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like I said. I'm in an irritable mood. I didn't like that when you're using the controller to move forward, and then you move left to right to just turn. Oh, tank controls. Uh, 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 basically what Superman 64 was. Yeah, tank controls. Tank? Uh, that makes sense. Because it's like you're driving a tank. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't know the context of that because we don't have experience of controlling tanks. No, you... Well, no, you no, can't no, 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 that's, that's what they call it. That's what they call it. So the philosophy of tank control is, is you right can't now. strafe. So you have to stop, turn, and then you can move. Uh, Just like a real life. Sir, thank you for the dog. Just like a real life tank. So oh, club guys, yeah. Star Chaser, mm -hmm. thank you for the donation. Out, ah, damn it. Okay, how am I supposed to get across? I really fucking hate the camera in this game. 
Yeah, it's if you game. want to play a game that isn't going to make you irritable, a 90s game where you can't control the camera probably isn't it. Because <laughs> yeah, the well, camera, this, this game the camera will be your frustration. This game has been on my chopping block for a while, so I can't ignore it any longer. Fair enough. Where am I? The new Kirby oh, is fun. yeah. The new what? Kirby is fun. Yes. I think the only Nintendo game I've ever... Mainline Nintendo game I've ever played is an emulator of a Pokemon game. Huh. Hmm. Oh, and, you know, Wii games, like Wii Sports, because everyone played Wii Sports. Yeah. Went over a friend's house or cousin's place. Yeah, there it was. <laughs> Secrets in the Shallows and Sky. So, if you ever played games with friends, did any of you guys also go through a phase of just Guitar Hero? No. I tried or... to get into Guitar Hero, but I never had the chance to play it. And when I did, I I, just, I got too focused on school. Uh, uh... Like, I know um, I used to have a group of friends in my local neighborhood for which we would sometimes gather and then we would have game nights like we would do like halo land parties and everything my brother's um, into that so much yeah i know we'd like go over to each other's house sleep over i bring over the other xbox so that we could like do it in the house and we'd be playing halo in the house with full four player everything Ugh. it was so much fun hmm. interesting oh, jesus i got water all over the desk Oh, shit. At least it's water. Yep. Mm. No, I spilt my drink on my carpet earlier. I'm like, oh no, it's water. Never mind. Cords <laughs> too. <laughs> Cords is fine. Cords. We're on each other's team. Jedi, shut up. What did I do? <laughs> Riley, you're not a Jedi. Oh, I thought you said guys. <laughs> no, no, you said Jedi. Yeah, Jedi Padawan Daniel. He made a stupid pun. Sorry, uh, I'm just having this idea that Riley's a secret Jedi and he like nearly blew his cover. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's on <laughs> the Riley you're looking for. This is ah. not, yeah, <laughs> this is not the Riley you know, you're looking for. Here's something to uh, lift this to uh, topic. So last night, uh, Peter, you got to watch Brother Bear for the first time in a while, uh, like after. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't even know if I ever originally saw Brother Bear. That's the funny part. If I did, I had like such hardcore amnesia about it. Okay. But I don't think I saw it. I don't think I saw it for real, though. Well, we, we, we saw it last night. No, no, no. He no means as in like before in the past. That. He means yeah, like in, I'm the talking past. in the past. Yeah. Okay. Cause it's been a while from for me too. It's been a while since I've seen Brother Bear. I've like always been aware that it existed, but uh, from what I was told, it got overshadowed by Finding Nemo in the same year, so it didn't really make much money. Yeah. Well, what also, also the... what also didn't help is that um, like critics were a little harsh with it, and like even afterwards, after a long period, uh, whenever some people gave it attention or came to talking about it. Um, it came to, uh, what was it? Like, they criticized it for being too generic in its storytelling. Um, like, some reviews who are a little more harsh with it stated that they hated the middle part, the whole road trip thing, but they liked the beginning and ending. Uh, the road trip part felt like they were cheated out or something like that over something else that was going on. When really, it's in the title, Brother Bear. What did you think was going to happen? I think because people kind of expected, like, an existential journey, I suppose. But at the same time, yeah, the title is Brother Bear. They're going to encounter a character who would become, like, the brother. Like, wasn't Kenai, wasn't Kenai technically going through an existential journey? In essence, yeah. yeah, because he lost his older brother. He was filled with, with grief and anger. And he ended up pissing off the, um, the spirits who pretty much instilled the lesson upon him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember seeing the movie in Nelson, and I didn't think it was that bad. And then later on, when I did see it, I thought it was 
they're actually pretty cute. Same. A, yeah, lot of no, people have, a lot of people have given grief to um, the character. Phil Collins songs? No. Um, oh. What's Coda. Yeah, Coda. Because, oh, he talks too much. Okay, so did Dory in Finding Nemo. People love Dory. God, Dory yeah. drove me crazy. In hindsight, she's more, uh... They're, yeah. they're too... We those don't characters seem like too different damn it. to me. You were saying, Peter? Oh, uh, yeah, Sorry. those two... It, at least in my opinion, the two characters seem a little too different for me to compare them. Like, I get the idea that, like, there are characters who are annoying Nagy, but... Maybe it's because during that time we had Hollywood had a at least if I remember right a shit ton of like road trip esque movies, so it could just be at the time we were just oversaturated with it. Because I thought um wasn't didn't are we there yet come out that year too? Uh, it Let came around that also, decade. Yeah, it was like two thousand four if it wasn't two thousand three, but it was still like I remember that being like a popular movie thing at the time. To just have a, a shit ton of like, oh, there's a road trip movie. Oh no, a quirky side character is gonna join you on this journey. Oh, you don't get along. Hi, Jinx. I mean, technically, like that road trip formula still continues. Oh no, yeah. it does. It's just I remember there being like so a lot much of, of it back then, like back then specifically, that people were probably just people might have just been tired of it. It, it kind of like I do remember that one of the big movies that started it all was um, Ice Age. Was it really by Ice Age? I mean, technically not. I mean, probably I mean, Ice Age or maybe like movies like maybe Euro for Trip and such. No, I was gonna say maybe. I mean, maybe for animation, but I was gonna say the sorry the road trip. The idea of like the annoying road trip partner has been in live action for decades. Yeah, uh, I think yeah. it's it, it probably just became more noticeable over time. And Def, you're forgetting the the cinematic masterpiece that is a Goofy movie. Or there's Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Me, I, which oh, Dumb so and Dumber. I which is an old it. movie by now. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen Dumb and Dumber. You haven't I've seen never. it yet? Oh, that is a road trip movie. No, I've never seen Dumb and Dumber. Okay, but yeah, uh, we'll see if it's on HBO Max and like maybe sometime after... Um, Ooh. Sometime, like, yeah, after the stream we could watch that. Now, that's one of the, that. that was one of the earlier movies that had... Um, yeah, Jim like Car yeah, Jim Carrey and also Jeff Daniels. Yeah. I have a question, unironically. Yeah. Okay. About yeah. Theming. Is Freddy Got Fingered count as like a road trip movie? It, no. no. It's a movie it that doesn't deserve to exist. I I, I doubt that. I no. haven't like I haven't seen the movie, so I can't. Say. Don't watch. Like I'm it. not an ex I'm not an expert on the topic. I just know that. Um, Oh, right. Another thing about those movies, especially from back then, a lot of the character formulas didn't exactly work all that well, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. there were way too many movies where they would try and make it funny by making like the character that joins the comic relief character who barges their way in to be like, essentially utterly unlikable with the idea that, oh, it's comedy or there's something sympathetic about them later. But the, they never had any good enough writers to actually make that character work, so you just ended up with a shit ton of annoying movies. If I if mm -hmm. I could add something of an example of where they did it right, and maybe this could just be biased to me because I have respect for uh, John Hughes, uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. They had John yeah. Candy as the comic relief, yeah. but he wasn't like he was unintentionally being annoying. Like he didn't know what was going on with Steve Martin's character. He was just trying to help him out because he's just reading the situation that he's going through. And that's, like, the hijinks was completely at the fault of Steve Martin for being such a control freak. Um, you don't... <laughs> Go ahead. But anyway, um, you want... A genre that I came up that I do like was... Um, there is something more or less that is, like, action... It's like a road trip, but there's like a more actiony aspect to it. Uh huh. So, for instance, the Need for Speed movie, which is literally just a long cry. Like it's based on they borrow this element from one of the games, and they borrow all the elements from it too. It. Of oh, they're doing they essentially are doing a Pan American road trip. It's just every time you see them, it plays out like a Need for Speed level. Hmm. So there's no comedy in it, but you're seeing some epic shit where like oh the last. Shelby Mustang, christened by the man himself before his death, is given to this guy modded, and he has to drive it across. Um, there's an epic race. There's a pretty epic race at the end. Um, it's not a movie like 
it's fun action. It's not going to impress you, but it's really, it's really, really fun. Okay. Especially if you love cars. No, then. What the hell? What's the star doing here? Huh. Favorite Jim Carrey movie is The Mask. Okay, that's that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, favorite Jim Carrey movie is The Mask. The mask is great. The mask, mask definitely has, yeah, it definitely has a charm going for it. Like, I don't think about it too much. I like the message that it has. Um, but like, after just watching the movie, like at least once in a while, I get very exhausted with it. Like, it's not a bad movie. Don't get me wrong, and it's not me hating. No, the movie. I know what it is. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. I it's don't like think the usage of drinking energy drinks like you get very you know hyper the entire time and then as time goes on Power thirst. Power thirst, or just basically just Power Power thirst. if you want the, if you want the vibe and the essence of an energy drink just watch power thirst yeah oh my but, god <laughs> you... but simply just like you you were energetic at first but then as soon as, like, time goes on, and by that I mean, like, a good seven hours, you either pass out or just get tired after that. The, uh, the yes. sugar crash hits. Yeah, oh no, yeah. like, the sugar crash hits, and you're, like, you're pretty much out for a day if you spend seven hours, like, periodically having, a, like, an energy drink. Obviously not, like, you know, all at once, because that could kill you. Oh, yeah. Don't drink five-hour energies all the time, thank you very much. Oh no, I've, I've tried like a five hour energy once. Not only did it fail to keep me awake when I was trying to get ready for a class at one point, but I fell into a really nasty depressive crash. Like I cried myself to sleep. Well, oh, yeah, that's the weird thing about there. five. There's something weird about five hour energy, yeah, because there are only like three reactions I hear people getting. Either it doesn't work, it works fine just as advertised, or the last one where this is where I fell into it does work. But I get anxious as fuck. It must have something in its in its um in its uh, in its um. In, um oh, uh, oh, do not have one on an empty stomach, by the way, because I did that during an all nighter when I was really young. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh fuck! It's dude. so uncomfortable. I don't oh. think I'm talking about. Uh, five hour energy. By the way, uh, Def, have... this is a picture I found. I thought you'd enjoy it. Let me see.